Hi everyone, it's Janine from the Little Nun's Room Kitchen today. Now, have I got a treat for you. So this very evening in 20 minutes, I'm going to be doing a live online virtual masterclass with my favorite, James Martin. Now, if you've seen any of my earlier videos, you would notice in my celebrity closet strand that I did a video specifically about James a couple of months into lockdown because he was having a bit of a bad week so um and other celebrities that I've worked with or, or like just think are amazing and I saw this come up and I thought it's the first ever one I've got to give this a go so I have spent since three o'clock it's now six o'clock I've spent since three o'clock and that doesn't even include the shopping getting myself ready so I'm just going to show you my workstations and bearing in mind that I actually do teach cooking in museums um I've done loads of things I've made pizzas with kids and adults I've um cupcakes um on a particular on a valentine's night um what else have I done Honestly, like you name it, I'll throw myself in and give it a go. It's just brilliant. Um, cheese, I've made cheese with them, with groups, community groups before. So much fun. So let me show you around the kitchen. So over here behind me, we have the raspberry. There is the raspberry um, tart set up. So we've got the, if we can kind of get over here, that's it. Ooh. That's right, right. Okay, so we've got the puff pastry. We've got the cream ready to whip. We've got the raspberries. Although, to be honest, I've actually added blueberries as well because I'm not a massive raspberry fan. I mean, I don't. I just don't like that flavour completely. But blueberries, I do love. So, that's everything ready to go. And there's like three different things within each section. So it's like properly organised. If you look on the wall, I've got this is my raspberry tart thing. There's even there's an egg stain. <laughs> There's an egg stain from when I was measuring out the yolks earlier. Usually when I'm working um, in the various museums, I actually have an assistant or two, that help, an assistant volunteer that actually help me get all this ready. It's taken hours because I'm so specific. Even when I work, I'm like, you should see how I work. It's meticulous. So I'm like, everything's laid out, ready to go. Everything's measured out and, um, you know, just really super professional. So that's the pudding. Let's start with the pudding because it's my favourite bit. We're going to make a creme pan um a glaze for the raspberry tart puff pastry raspberry blueberry and also i've added some cherries in there too because i love cherries so that's the pud i don't know how whether we did be doing that first i've got no idea it's an hour and a half for james i mean he does things in what ready said he cook 30 minutes but like he can cook three courses in 30 minutes so this is going to be either completely manic but i'm really excited so behind me station two stazione two we have so this is the chicken um, and pilaf rice. So I've got a chicken there, a pair of scissors apparently. So I think we're gonna be doing some sort of butterflying or something. Quite exciting, so I haven't done that before. Um, I've watched him do it so many times on telly though, cutting down the backbone and then you open it up. Um, so yeah, so that's really exciting. I've already chopped my onions. I didn't wanna risk it. Um, but I've got I've got something to chop because otherwise I just don't, all I feel is I'm just going to be chucking stuff in, which is kind of a bit blue Peterish, isn't it? A bit a bit like TV. But you do see at least the chefs chopping um, uh, chopping a bit, just showing off their skills. But I know how to do that. I learned how to do that years ago. So I'm not, I'm not brilliant, but I can, I can I know how to chop an onion. So let's moving over. So this is the chicken pilaf. So we've got basmati rice. We've got white wine. We've got cream. We've got tarragon. Couldn't find any fresh. Literally like. Everywhere I went, I went to so many different supermarkets, couldn't find any fresh anywhere. It doesn't seem to be the, the herb of the East End. So, um, yeah, that's very exciting. So then we're coming over to Stazione 3. I know, it's crazy. It's just me. It's just me. Um, right. So I had to ask my flatmate really nicely if we wouldn't mind going out because I just knew. It's when I'm teaching, I get really big and loud and I'm, you know, I, I've got to get in the mode. I can't have any distractions. So, um, so anyway, but bless him. He'd already planned to go to the studio and do some music. So that's really great. That's really great. He'll get a little um, a bit of this tomorrow. So here we go. We have some red peppers ready for chopping. So this is gonna be the chili jam. We're making chili jam. We're making some sort of French dressing. I've got watercress. And then um, we're doing um, halloumi. Hello, halloumi, halloumi. <laughs> um, yeah, delish. Can it, oh no, hang on. Oh gosh. So there we go, pointing out the halloumi. Obviously you can see the peppers. So lots of different things going on here. I think we're cheating a little bit. He's doing it fast. This morning I saw him do um, a chili sauce and teller and um, he did it completely from scratch using a blender. But um, I don't think there's any time for that. I mean, an hour and a half of James's time is, is probably worth a fortune. And I think there's like 90 people on here. We've all paid 30, 35 pounds. But you know, it, it's a really great idea. I mean, 
you know, getting accessibility in your home of a celebrity chef. Yes, I, I've no idea how this is going to work, but I am very excited. And um, I really wanted to be on the question and answer bit. I did try. Um, I didn't get contacted. But but um, they said they would up until today. But, you know, you never know. They might just throw me a live stream. And, um, and I'm I'll, literally, I'll be ready to go. I'm on it. I've got my frock. I mean... I've got, um, I'm gonna have my apron on. I am so ready for this. Um, I was gonna have a glass of wine, but I think, no, I just wanna be tip top, tip top, and then enjoy the fruits of my labor afterwards. So that's it. So this is before, before the virtual masterclass. Um, I will do another post <laughs> after to see how much carnage and how much I've managed to control and keep control of this complete and utter chaos. I do love this kind of thing though, I'll be honest. It's really great. Um, I've cooked for so such a long time and I've been a fan of I've said this before but a fan of James since ready said he cooked like student days so you know and I've been cooking like that since student days um I don't do quite so much recently but this is like my my foray back into it all again right I'm gonna go I'm gonna go now I promise I've got to go turn the oven on I've got to do something else I can't remember what it is right now so if you like what you see please subscribe please follow and um I'll let you know how it goes all right bye